Hey guys, this is Surya from Skilling. Hope you're doing well. This video is a continuation of our master course review series. And in this video, we will be looking at one of our most popular courses, which is a CAE Masters or Masters in Computer Aided Engineering, right? What course review basically does is to help you understand what are the modules in the course, what are the content in the module that you will learn, and what are the projects that are present in each module. Also, we basically showcase how a particular student journey is and uh, how the student portfolio builds up and what type of jobs you can apply for, right? Okay, let's go into the video. Great. Uh, as said, CA Master's Certification Program. This is the coursework that we will be looking at today. Uh, if you want to do this coursework full-time, it's 40 hours per week and it will take six months for you to finish this coursework. If you are doing part-time, anywhere between 15 to 20 hours per week, then you will be uh, finishing this coursework in 12 months. Uh, there are around 12 to 20 projects that you will be working on this coursework and you will be working on six modules. I'll basically go into what are the six modules and uh, I'll go into the content of the coursework as well. And this particular master coursework also comes under our job assistance. So whenever you take a, a CAE masters or any master course at Skilling, we basically make sure we help you out with uh, setting up interviews, kind of helping you with clearing interviews, providing the right kind of material for you to learn and do really well in your interviews and also in your career, right? Okay, let's get into the program. What are the courses that you will be looking at? Okay, so there are six courses. The first two courses are on pre-processing. Hypermesh for FEA plastic and sheet metal applications, structural mixing using ANSA. These are the first two courses. The second three courses are on solvers so you will be looking at ls dyna for structural mechanics you will be looking into crashworthiness analysis using hypermesh and radio and the third uh, solver that you will be looking into is advanced structural analysis using ansys workbench then the sixth coursework will be automation using tcltk for hypermesh this is a automation uh, tool that will help you automate pre-processing using hypermesh Okay, before getting into what are the content of this coursework, I want to kind of give you a brief idea about the job space for uh, mechanical engineers in this particular domain. If you basically take up any job in mechanical engineering that relates to product development or R&D, there is a certain process where design, analysis, testing, prototype build and manufacturing. So these are the five step process uh, in general. Right? So this particular coursework comes in the analysis aspect of it and primarily in CAE slash FEA analysis. Uh, so primarily you will be looking into uh, finite element analysis in this particular coursework and also primarily you will be looking into finite element analysis in this particular coursework. So when you take up finite element analysis, there are three parts to it. One is the pre-processor, uh, which is basically meshing, how to mesh complex component. So meshing is the science of breaking a complex component into small simplified geometries using say different kind of uh, meshes. So something that you will learn as you go through the coursework. Then solver, solver is basically where you use the governing equation and solve the physics behind the particular simulation on the meshed component and then post-processor. Post-processor is where you basically take results out of the solved components, right? So the first two courses out here are basically the pre-processing. The next three courses are in the solver and post-processing. The sixth course is automation for free. Let's get into the coursework. So in the first coursework, Hypermesh for FEA plastic and sheet metal applications. So you will start with basics of FEA. So if you do not have an idea about FEA, do not worry about it. We will start from the basics. We will teach you what are the fundamentals of uh, FEA. Then we will go into graphical user interface of Hypermesh. What are the different tools that are present? Then we get into 1D meshing, geometric cleanup. Uh, how to do mid-surface meshing, 2D meshing and uh, we basically look into quality criteria that's kind of important for if you are doing meshing of any particular component. So you also look at advanced 2D meshing, 3D meshing, water connectors, batch meshing, morphing techniques and macro generation. So this is what you will be looking into in the first uh, module of this particular CAE Masters. The first module or the first course in this master course will be Hypermesh for FEA plastic and sheet metal applications and this is the course syllabus. There are two projects that you will be working on. Uh, the project that you will be working on is meshing of an inner panel and meshing of a car spare tire plastic component. Right? These are two projects that you will be working on. Apart from this, you will also work on eight assignments that are also industry relevant. Right? What happens due to these projects? So these projects are pretty much what you will basically face in an industry environment. 
right so we basically allow you to do this uh, machine on a industry model and that kind of improves your work experience as, as an individual right the course to a structural machine using ansa again another pre processor tool hypermachine and ansa are pretty much the most popular pre processors in the domain of fea or cae right so again you look into ansa you get introduced to fea then you look into graphical user interface same here manual mid surfacing 2d meshing solid meshing connections uh, introduction to batch meshing introduction to morphing basics right so you will understand everything that is related to meshing using ansa in this particular course there will be two projects take a ip trim component of an a car and basically start meshing it the second project will be modeling of an automotive suspension assembly so this is your second project so these are two projects that you will be working on as i said before apart from this you will also work on eight assignments which are also industry relevant the third course so the first two courses as i said are pre processes what are pre processes i'll repeat it again before you simulate anything you need to mesh it meshing the process of meshing is basically called as pre process right then comes solving right solving is where you basically use your governing equations and solve the uh, physics of the particular simulation and the third course is ls dyna for structural mechanics uh, slash fea so here you will basically learn fea basics and simulations what is L how to how to use ls pre post uh, you will basically do a deep dive of it uh, you will understand the different keywords uh, time step and more uh, complex uh, parts you will understand different keywords and time shift that are present in ls dyna you will also understand the whole ls pre post graphical user interface and do a weld mold modeling right uh, so that is something that you will do to get accustomed to the gui so then you will start with certain implicit simulations uh, then you will look into ls dyna best practices and types of analysis uh, you will also do material modeling using ls dyna then you will get a look into crash and safety so if you have been in the industry or if you have known about fea ls dyna is one of the popular tools especially for any explicit dynamics so like crash safety simulations right so this particular course work gives you a very good detailed understanding of ls dyna so these are the projects that you will be looking into so pedestrian head impact simulation on a hood bird strike on a aircraft engine on shell elements right so these are two projects that you will be looking into the fourth course is crash worthiness analysis using hypermesh and radios right again hypermesh and radios basically are from altair radios is the solver hypermesh is the pre processor as you know crash worthiness is the simulation or science of simulating how a car crash happens and understanding what are the and understanding the implications of a crash so that you can basically fix it while the uh design is in the product development stage itself right so again in this particular course you will look into basics of crash worthiness what is the physics involved in it what are the fea concepts that you need to know and what are the different cae processes that will be the beginning of the course work. then again you will get introduced to hypermesh what is geometry editing in hypermesh something you already seen in hypermesh as meshing in 1d 2d and 3d and mesh quality check so you will get it revised once you get it revised you go into introduction to radios what are element properties and materials you will also learn about hyper crash hyper view and hyper graph so these are three other inbuilt uh, components of hypermesh so you will also look into interface modeling boundary condition setup simulation control checks and debugs how to do uh, airbag modeling and its fea occupant injury criteria and crash worthiness standards this particular course is one of the best courses in our platform right there are three projects in this particular course you will work on a frontal crash of a neon dodge model in fmbss regulation using the same regulation you will set up a side pole impact analysis of a neon dodge model and also do a roof crush analysis these are projects that you will normally do in an industry so you doing these projects in a coursework will allow you to gain a real world experience that you can basically prove yourself while in an interview right something to think about course 5 is basically advanced structural analysis using ansys workbench again radios is a solver ls dyna is another solver ansys workbench is also another solver so you will understand the basics of fea introduction to ansys workbench introduction to engineering data how to use space claim how to use the mechanical modeler then you will basically look into static transient and explicit dynamic analysis in this particular course right so this particular course work gives you a very good introduction about ansys workbench and a intermediate level of understanding for performing static transient and explicit dynamic analysis 
so that will be independent project so you will basically uh, come up with a problem statement and uh, create a geometry and perform the simulation for the given problem statement right so apart from this there are around 8 to 9 industry oriented assignments that you will also do as a part of the coursework some of the things that i will recommend you to take a look at is go to our uh, website and uh, uh, take a look at the projects and assignments that you will be doing as part of this course and you will be impressed to understand the complexity of these courses in the sixth course is automation using tcl tk for high mesh so the courses that i explained before right so uh, the first two courses hypermesh and ansa gives you a real good understanding of three processing the next three courses gives you a real good understanding of solving as you get into the industry one of the things that is coming up right now is automation using python or automation using tcl tk to automate the pre processing aspect of it so pre processing aspect of it needs to be automated because it is time consuming right so how do we do that so tcl tk is one of the automations that is used for hypermesh to automate pre process so what you will basically understand is uh, what are the different tcl commands what are the tk commands how to build graphical user interface right uh, what this null cases mean what are collectors auto reflect what is the importance of order element quality check and everything right so what happens in this particular course is that you not only get a understanding of automation you also understand how to use it for hypermesh and that kind of gives you an edge so if you basically take these six courses right as part of our ca master you will be in the top 5 percentage of any fresher interview that you basically get into right because no one in your peer network will have this kind of understanding with respect to pre processing post processing solving and automation and that's where you you basically showcase your skills so that is why one of our best uh, recommended courses is computer aided engineering masters so i would definitely recommend you to take a look at it if you are a fresher uh, or if you are in your third fourth year this is the course that you should take again when i say this is the course you should take i also want to let you know that your area of interest should be either finite element analysis strength of materials or solid mechanics if your area of interest is that then this is the coursework that you need to take if your area of interest is computational fluid dynamics heat transfer thermodynamics then you need to take a look into our masters in computational fluid dynamics analysis or we have multiple other masters say you are experienced you have around 4 years of experience then you can also take a look into our masters in automation and pre processing for fea and cfd so that has a lot of automation aspect involved in right so this is the project that you will be working on in the sixth course so i also wanted to show you a ca masters course so this is our website you can go to this particular link to take a look at it i'll basically paste this link below the youtube video as well please take a look at the description as i said these are the six courses right and uh, you basically will have a detailed understanding of these six courses so you can basically go to our course page uh, and see every aspect of it and understand what all we basically do right this is the most detailed explanation of the courses that any online company basically provides you can compare it with any company and we basically provide what all we take in the coursework in detail so anything that is there in this page it will be covered enough right so yeah uh, what how, how does a student profile look like so this is yugender right yugender basically took up our coursework finished our coursework and right now is working with ansa beta ca systems itself right he is an application engineer at beta ca now let's take a look at his profile right so these are the different type of projects that yugender has worked on so if you see the number of projects yugender has worked on is just unbelievable right it just keeps on going so if i just go out here and uh, say if i click on frontal crash analysis of a neon car i can basically take a look at what yugender has uh, done in this particular coursework and what is the methodology right so the most important thing is this is not only so like just clicking on buttons and putting up a report this is understanding each and every aspect of the simulation and that is why you will look at a detailed report these are reports that industries require you to write and you will basically write it as a part of our coursework there are multiple profiles like this you can there is just one out of say 5500 profiles and um, so yeah this basically provides an edge for you whenever you search for jobs right uh, hope this was really useful for you what i'm going to do is i'm going to do some more 
master course reviews so if you have any questions feel free to reach out to us if you are interested in any of our coursework you can definitely reach out to us as well or uh, the number that you need to call is 9809805252 well, we would love to kind of uh, speak with you understand what your specialization is and provide you the right coursework that you can uh, take up right okay uh, if you have any questions comment below and uh, yeah see you in the next video thank you so much see you guys